Hey everyone, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in today. This video is going to be a haul from some higher end stores. I have Sephora and I have Petit Vor. And some of the things are brand, brand new to me and then some things I've had for a while. So I've been trying them out and I can give you some opinions. Also, I will have a poll up in the corner. I'm really into polls lately, but I also have enough to do a drugstore haul, but I'm not sure if you'd be into another haul from there. So let me know if you want to see that or not. I'll just, just a quick little poll. So the first First, I will start off with Petty Vore, and if you guys don't know, Petty Vore is a all-natural, organic, cruelty-free, vegan website, and everything on there is all those things. So if you are into shopping that way, let's stop rambling. I will leave the website down below if you're curious. So first off, we have these here. Um, these are little travel guys that I got for our trip. I don't know how my hair is going to react with going to a completely different climate. You guys know I'm on a no shampoo journey. It's been about six or seven weeks that I have shampooed my hair. Can you tell? It's still looking pretty good. Um, but I did get a shampoo in case I need it for that trip. It is an all natural organic one. So I'm not too concerned because there's no sulfates, parabens, that all that jazz. Um, so it's still a good alternative to a regular conventional shampoo and I just wanted to make sure I had something with me so when if my hair starts to get finicky I can actually have nice clean hair for my trip and then I also got the body wash as well um, the shampoo smells kind of woody I don't know how to sound make it sound better than that it is a very natural wood like creature scent and then the Shower gel is really nice. It's very like lavender lemon, which is pretty. Um, this product here I have been loving. This is from French Girl. It's their facial polish. It is a powder exfoliant where you just dip a little bit in your hand, add a couple drops of water, it makes a paste, and then you can use that to exfoliate your face. It has pomegranate and cranberry in there, so it has a lot of brightening aspects and antioxidants and my skin feels so incredibly soft it has definitely helped with texture it has helped with brightness um evening out some skin tones um but i've been having a really good time with my new skincare routine if you want a separate video on that let me know um next we have this from juice beauty another brand i've really been enjoying so this is their organic treatment oil it has grapeseed oil cranberry oil a whole bunch of different other oils like from carrots um, again, 100% organic, and I've been loving everything that I've got from this brand so far. Um, their cleanser is amazing. I love their foundation, so I'm excited to try their oil. I've been really into facial oils. Um, the one I'm currently using, I'll have to put on the screen, I don't remember. It's just called Simple Oil, but I forget the brand. Um, so I'm excited to have another and try it out. I haven't tried that one yet. Um, next, we have some hair care items, because um, you guys know I am on a no shampoo journey, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I did get a couple of things to help me out with that situation. So I get a new hairbrush from Weedoo. It is a handcrafted in Italy. Fancy. It was the most expensive hairbrush that I ever bought, but hairbrushes for me last ages. And it was definitely time for me to get a new one and upgrade. And I think the last time I got a new hairbrush was like eight years ago so I wasn't too upset about spending so much on a hairbrush it is really really nice and wood and bamboo and the bristles are even wood as well so if you're looking for a more sustainable option it is a good one um, I do have wavy hair normally I did straighten it today but it's normally wavy and this does not pull at all I really enjoy it also since it is wood it kind of helps bring the oils down from my scalp towards the ends of my hair um, so I've been really liking it. I didn't think I'd like it. I didn't think it was worth the price tag, but I've really been loving it since I bought it. So yeah, I mean, it's an investment. It's something that I'm going to have for years and I do just love how pretty it is. Um, next we have a comb. <laughs> um, I honestly just got this cause I had a coupon, but it is a wide tooth comb from the same brand. Again, more of a bamboo typed material and it works it's just a little bamboo comb i'm just gonna demonstrate it for you um but i like it i've been liking this if my hair is like extremely snarly um because the castile soap sometimes when i use the castile soap my hair does get a little bit more tangly um so this helps with that um and then i do have a dry shampoo this is from captain blankenship <laughs> um yeah this is their mermaid or dry shampoo 
It does smell really nice and rose-like. Um, it is a powder dry shampoo, one that you don't spray, so that is definitely new to me where I have to like shake it and tip it onto my scalp. Um, so that is definitely a learning curve because sometimes I miss my head and it gets all over my shirt. So that is one downfall. It does smell amazing and it does work really well for me. It uses arrowroot as the absorbent and it definitely makes my hair look clean. Like it actually makes it look clean. Um, so a lot of times I can stretch it out like one or two days for me washing my hair which is always good um again i just i've just really have been enjoying this no shampoo thing i'll leave my first update down below if you're curious about my experience so far but this one is a new addition for me which i really do like and i like that it's a more natural option and it does work really well like my friends at work when i told them that i was doing this i had told them just recently and they're like what i had no idea that you stopped washing your hair because i mean it doesn't look super dirty which is that's awesome but i do love that product i do have makeup items um the first is from lily lolo this is their illuminator and champagne and let me just show you it really does not look exciting right um, I do like the packaging. It's nice and sleek and skinny, um, so I do really enjoy the packaging. And it's not one of those highlights that is super shimmery or super like bam in your face, but it is really pretty. And you're not even gonna see it much on camera. Uh, you can kind of see it right there, um, but it is a really just good everyday glow um, without having that actual shimmer or that really stark highlight look. So it is for more of the everyday highlight. I'm still playing with it. I, mean, I definitely think it's good. And it's good for those days where I don't want to do a lot of highlight, but I still want to look youthful and glowy because it doesn't have shimmer in it, which I enjoy. Um, so I'll keep you posted on this one. I'm still kind of playing around with it. And I do have a lipstick that I was able to get as a free gift. This is from Red Apple Lipstick. It's in the shade Audrey. I do have one other of this brand, and I really like them. It's not going to be the most longest wearing lipsticks um, because they are so creamy. Like, do you see? The, there's a little bit of a shine to it. They're so creamy, but they're beautifully pigmented. Um, they just feel really great on my lips. I really have been enjoying them. And again, this is in the shade Audrey. Just a really pretty nude. Um, and then moving on to Sephora. I do have one item that has not arrived yet, um, but I do mo most likely do a separate video on all the new palettes that I received so far. Um, I kind of want a little palette bonkers, which, I mean, it's that time of year where... I don't know what I was thinking about me doing a no buy because I have just been eyeing a, a lot of palettes from brands that I've been really wanting to try out and so I'm just really excited about them and yeah I'm not going to justify myself because I know I kind of went a little bonkers but I'm so loving all of these so let's just get going with the two palettes that I do have on hand. The other palette that is on its way is from Tarte. It's their Clay Play, which was the Weekly Wow. Um, so I don't have that one to share with you, but I did purchase that one. I also have this one from Bobbi Brown. This is the Nude Drama. And I've already talked about it, I think, once so far. It is really pretty. Um, it's just a very nude palette. Um, I really enjoy this one because it's very neutral. It's not warm. It's not cool. It's just very neutral. Um, they do have a good selection of mattes. I think there's five mattes total. Some really good transition colors in all different tones. Um, and just a nice white. They have a darker color. They have some of the more satiny colors. And then they have a couple of shimmers or glitters. I'm not a huge fan of those ones because the glitters do have fallout. Um, but I'm still kind of playing with it, so maybe with different primers I can get it to work. But I do like the shimmers a lot, or the more satiny colors. I mean, those tend to be my favorite type of formula anyways. But there are some good bits in this palette. There's definitely some misses in this palette. So I don't think it's worth the price tag. If I paid full price, luckily I do work at Sephora, so I do get a discount. Here's a couple swatches. Um... But it's not the best of quality for the price. Um, if you were to splurge on a palette or wanting to try something new, I really have been loving this one here. And I'm going to open it up. So this is from Viziart? Visart? What do you call it? Because I call it Viziart. I've heard it other ways too. Um, but anyways, I got their new palette. This is in the 
Golden Hour. It's their new nine pan palette, and I know it's completely different. My first, this is not a nudes palette, but these are beautiful shadows. I have been waiting to do a Vizier, I'm just gonna call it Vizier, um, palette for ages, but they're crazy pricey. They're what, 80 bucks a piece, and I just, I can't do it. Maybe when there's an extra discount, but I just can't get myself to do it. So I, when I saw this one, I think this one was on 49, I was like, perfect, because then I can actually try out their formula without committing as much money. I mean, it's still expensive for nine shadows, but the they have a good reputation for good reason they are beautiful they blend easily i mean i barely have to tap my brush into these shadows and they are so pigmented i did use uh, you can see my eyes a little bit i very quickly use this one here and this one a little bit in my crease just to blend it out um but they i mean it really took me like two minutes to do my eyes and it was so easy it looks so pretty um, I've really been loving this blue color, which is something really different for me, but I was able to do a smoky eye look the other day with just this one and the black in here, and it was so quick and easy. They just blend so, so effortlessly. Um, so I'm so incredibly excited to have this. It's like formula wise and pigmentation wise like it's night and day this one is even cheaper than this one and the pigmentation in this one is crazy good so uh, I hope they come out with other versions of this because it's just it's the perfect size my one gripe there is one gripe um it does come with a nice big mirror um but my one gripe is that it's a little bit difficult to open there's no like little bit at the bottom to hold on to while you're opening it so it's a little awkward um but I don't care because it looks, oh, they're just so good. Um, also, I have this from Makeup Forever, just a 100 point gift. It is their liquid lip in number 105, which is just, of course, a nude. Um, but I really do like these liquid lipsticks if you are one, wanting one that's more moussey. This is a good one that is just not, nice and long wearing. It's a pretty color. Um, I. Yeah, it's one of my favorite formulas at, at Sephora. And then finally, some more hair care. Yay! Um, this one here, I am actually excited be, to find on the Sephora website because I have been in love with this. Are you guys, like this is on Sephora's website. This is from DP Hue. This is their apple cider vinegar. You guys know I've been using this when I do my shampoo. My shampoo. Um, when I wash my hair, I do use this. And I actually got my other one in my FabFitFun unboxing, and when I saw it was on the Sephora website, I was like, perfect, because I, of course, since I work at Sephora, get a discount, um, and so I did pick up an extra one because I thought, why not? I was going through mine, and I love this. I didn't even realize it has a whole entire range. Like There's co um, conditioners, there's like a scalp scrub, which is really interesting, so I've been liking this so far. Um, I could obviously since I did pick up a spare and then the final product is this here This is from Earth's Nectar. It's their green olive and lavender scalp oil I got this when I was having the crazy reaction when my scalp was like super psoriasis -y and like bleeding and gross And I did use this a few times to help soothe um, that situation which it did really help calm all the itchiness down and I heard it's really good if you do have some dandruff issues. I haven't used it since that time though because I did again switch to not washing my hair so I haven't really used it much lately because I'm not sure how it would rinse out with just apple cider vinegar or castile soap so we shall see. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Again, do the poll if you want to see a drugstore option as well. And that's all I have for you guys. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys really soon. Bye, everyone.